Let's have a closer look at the Listing and Labeling tab page of the Selection Setting dialog. First, let's choose Ceiling for the IFC element type. Let's also select the Non-Load Bearing Element option for Structural Function. With these modifications, we have ensured that all ceiling elements in the project are classified as non-load bearing ceiling elements. Let's display the entire architectural project model again in the 3D window. Now we would like to display the interior elements only. All we need to do is to activate the Find and Select dialog and select elements classified as interior by their position classification. As you can see, only the interior elements, including the previously modified suspending ceiling elements, are visible in the 3D window. Let's now display only the exterior elements. We can do this in the very same manner as before. As you can see, this time, only the building exterior is displayed in the 3D view. Let's have a closer look at the entrance atrium of the office building. As you can see, this atrium has some steel beams and columns. These steel elements have all been created using standard steel profiles. This is very important since Tecla Structures also uses standard profiles, and these standard steel elements exported from ARCHICAD can be converted to same type native steel elements in Tecla thanks to its object converter tool. Let's select a steel column and open its settings dialog. As you can see the profile of the selected steel column was defined as complex structure by using a Eurocode standard steel profile called IPE200. ARCHICAD enables designers to access thousands of standard steel profiles from a worldwide industry profile database right out of the box. These steel profiles can then be used when placing columns or beams. The standard steel profile database dialog helps you select the necessary country code, identify the required profile shape, and its sizes. We are free to select any of the listed profiles. All the selected profiles can then be added to the project with a single click. Let's open the column selection settings dialog again. Please notice that all the previously imported standard steel profiles are available and can be used instantly. As a result, during the data exchange process, Structural engineering programs will recognize and identify such standard elements accurately and completely without requiring any adjustments to the settings. With the help of layers and layer combinations, we can store and display the elements having a structural function like load-bearing walls, slabs, columns, beams, roofs, and so on, separately from the other project elements. Please notice that all the structural layers of the project are included in the structural bearing layer combination. Let's activate this layer combination to display only the structural layers in the 3D window. Now, let's go back to the entire architectural model and open a section view. As you can see, this view currently displays a wall slab detail. All the composite elements with all their layers as well as the non-load bearing ceiling elements are displayed. Let's now activate the Partial Structure Display dialog to filter the display of elements in the section view. We will select the Core of Load Bearing Elements Only option. This will ensure that only the elements classified as load bearing by their function and the core part of composite structures will be displayed. This is also valid for the 3D view of the project. Let's bring up Partial Structure Display again and choose the Core of Load Bearing Elements Only Display Mode for the current 3D window. Thanks to the function classification, the Partial Structure Display feature enables designers to simplify the entire model to just the load bearing part of the model with only one click.
We will export the IFC database using the elements in the 3D window, and we will send this file to the structural engineer. We can export and send the entire load-bearing structure visible in the current view, or we can filter the exported file by creating a selection set for the export. For instance, we can use the Find and Select dialog to select all the elements on the steel frame layer. As you can see, all the steel frames are selected in the 3D window. We can use a 3D project view or a floor plan view to create such selection sets. Let's activate the file Save As command. Please note that ARCHICAD supports IFC, IFC XML, as well as their compressed zip file formats. The compressed IFC file formats are handy when dealing with large projects. Now, let's select the IFC zip compressed file format. Please also note the various export options. As mentioned earlier, we can export the selected elements only, the entire project, independent from the visible content of the current view used for the export, or the visible elements on all stories option. Choosing the last export option, only the visible elements of the 3D view will be exported independently from the applied selection set. For the export translator, we will select one called Data Exchange with Tecla Structures, which is optimized to exchange models with the structural engineer using Tecla Structures. After entering a file name, we can click the Save button to proceed. ARCHICAD will export the IFC project with the previously defined specifications. Importing the design to Tecla Structures. Let's see how the structural engineer using Tecla Structures can open the previously saved architectural model and create the structural model. We will insert the architectural model as a reference model. The reference model can be used to overlay the architectural model with the engineer's own model. At the Reference Model Properties dialog, we will select the previously created IFC file. Please note that Tecla Structures also supports all the IFC file formats, including compressed IFC formats. The engineer can filter the IFC data and select only specific layers to consider. The previously created and exported ARCHICAD layers are visible here and can be used perfectly to filter the IFC data to be used throughout the structural design. As you can see, Tecla Structures opened the architectural model perfectly. Let's focus on the steel structures of the entrance atrium. Engineers check the properties of reference objects defined by the architect with the Inquire tool. Let's use the Select Objects in Components command to pick the elements of the reference model and query their properties. Here you can see that the selected steel element was created by ARCHICAD. It was classified as external use and as a load-bearing element. It's generic steel and its profile name is IPE200. Let's create some clip planes to focus on a specific part of the building model. It will be helpful to focus on just the part of the model where we wish to continue working. We will create two clip planes and position them so the steel structure of the entrance atrium will be in the center of the 3D view. Let's continue and create the structural model based on the reference model. Tecla provides various tools to help this work. The referenced steel columns, beams, and bars can be converted to native Tecla structures elements with the help of the object converter. After selecting the steel elements in the reference model, we can run the IFC object converter from the macros dialog. The object converter generates new steel beams and columns according to the imported IFC profiles and the tools available profile database. 
the newly created native Tecla steel elements are displayed in blue. Let's have a closer look at the properties of these newly created steel elements. As you can see in the Beam Properties dialog, the profile name of the steel elements is IPE200, and their material is set to generic steel. Let's edit the material and, for example, select a Eurocode steel grade from the Select Material dialog. Let's continue and select one of the steel columns. At the Column Properties dialog, we'll modify the steel profile of this column. Let's select HEB200 for the new standard profile. Let's also change the steel material of this column with the help of the Material Database. We will create a new concrete beam based on the geometry of the architectural reference model. Let's start by defining the properties of the concrete beam. Let's set the height as well as width values of the concrete cross-section. Let's also select a standard concrete grade for the new beam. We can also set the position and the location of the reference line of the concrete beam if necessary. The position of the reference line will define the start and end point of the new beam according to the referenced one. Finally, let's proceed and create the new beam with the previously defined properties. As you can see, the newly created concrete beam is indicated in yellow in the 3D window. Let's continue and create a new concrete wall panel. We can start by setting the shape, as well as the material attributes of the wall panel if we wish. Let's create a new concrete wall panel with the help of the reference model. However, this time, we will create a higher wall panel than modeled in the reference model. Let's continue the work and add structural details to the design. We can use Tecla's component catalog to start. This catalog already contains numerous predefined structural detail templates. However, we can also create new ones if necessary. Let's select Favorites for now, in which the most frequently used components and company standards can be collected. Let's select a steel column, steel beam component from the favorites, and apply this to the project. As you can see, the result is immediately visible in the 3D view. Let's select a clip angle from the component favorite. We will add this to the junction of the steel beam and the concrete beam at the top of the atrium. As you can see, the new structural detail is instantly visible in 3D. Let's select a base plate in the component catalog. We will apply this at the junction of the steel columns and the concrete wall underneath. Let's review the parameters of this component. Tecla Structures provides various customizable properties for all components. We can freely edit all the dimensions of the component parts. Let's proceed and add the base plate component to the project. Let's select the wall panel reinforcement component from the catalog. We will apply this component to place reinforcement mesh into the concrete wall panel below the steel columns. The structural engineer continues the work. Here you can see the completed structural model of the atrium entrance. Please note the level as well as the precision of the structural details. Even the reinforcement bars are visible in the reinforced concrete structures. Let's hide the architectural reference model for now to get a clear view of the structural design. We will select and export the structural model of the atrium in IFC format and send it back to the architect. At the Tecla Structures IFC export dialog, we can fine-tune and define the IFC characteristics of the exported data. We can select the compressed IFC file format. 